Guys, many of you missed the game that gave plus 100% in the last month alone. I think you have already guessed that it is sweet. So, in order not to miss any more coins, you need to watch this video till the end. Because today, you will find out why Sui has grown so much. Is it too late to buy? Will Sui Top 2 become an altcoin? And what will happen if you buy 1500 Sui right now? So, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let's get started. Right now, everyone just got a FOMO charge from Sui because this crazy coin has skyrocketed 115% in the last month alone. A lot of people missed this spike, and it's not surprising because while the market was full of Bitcoin ETFs, Solana at $100, and a bunch of other interesting news, no one was paying attention to very potential projects. So now that SWE is showing its all-time high performance, many people are wondering why this token is doing so well in the first place. That's why I decided to make this video, so let's take a look at SWE's performance. Right now, SWE is ranked 13th in terms of TVL, and I see it as a fairly easy task to move it into the top 10. Just looking at this growth momentum, I think it will not be a difficult task to reach another $50 million in blocked SWE. By the way, you can see the same good dynamics in the number of protocols on the SWE blockchain because their number is growing very well. And the ecosystem itself is growing very actively, with NFT projects being added all the time and the GameFi direction not far behind. And all this considering that SWE has only been in the mainstream since May 2023. Now we can see that the market is starting to be clearly divided into narratives. Layer 2, RWA, AI, and more. And in this mess of new things, Layer 2 clearly stands out because it is the most comfortable and understandable project. And in my opinion, Solana is the leader in this field. And it is important to clarify that I am not even considering Ethereum in this context, because it has long been at an unattainable level. So if you look at Layer 1 projects, Solana is top one, and SWE is gaining momentum quite fast and will probably become top two. By the way, the SWE team writes some very interesting information about themselves. The price for a transaction in SWE is just a penny, 0 0.0010 SWE, which is about 0 0.0016 USD. This is just nothing. You can consider it a free transaction. In addition, all coins spent on transactions are destroyed. This creates a balance for the tokenization of the project. In terms of transaction speed, SWE is close to Solana. It is also very interesting that SWE shows a good performance in terms of active addresses over time. Although Solana objectively takes the lead here as well, with almost 1 million active users per day. And if we compare these two projects, let's look at the investors of Tokenomics and SWE. Because for Solana, these two factors became quite negative in the story with FTX and Sam Bankman Fry. Here I can give a big thumbs up to Tokenomics because the supply is distributed quite adequately. As much as 27% is allocated to project development, in fact to its construction. This share includes the following costs. A delegation program, a grant program, research and development, and validator subsidies. I think this approach is super appropriate and environmentally friendly for the project because 27% of the SWE stake is actually constantly reinvested in the development of the blockchain and the whole ecosystem. And then you can see that only 14% is allocated to early investors, which is a meager amount. At the same time, active users who have shown loyalty to SWE mainnet have been allocated as much as 21%. And this is not so good because it is not a small amount. At the same time, you can see that tokens are unlocked according to a very clear and transparent system, which is aimed at ensuring that there is no great pressure on the market. However, there have been no unlocks for the token for early investors and the community, so it is too early to draw conclusions, so we will see the result in the near future. In general, I see an interesting trend. It seems to me that the SWE team has prepared big events for the first unlocks of the community and investors. Let's get down to it. In general, you can see that the SWE team is constantly working and putting a lot of effort into the development of the product. New partnerships are formed and interesting events are announced. A good example is SWE Basecamp. And in general, such events always add value to the asset. At least against this background, we can expect a pretty good price increase. By the way, SWE is very active in its blog for this event, which covers the latest news about the project and also gives some details about the camp itself. Although many people turn a blind eye to such metrics, it seems to me that this is what ultimately puts projects on top. I also noticed a rather interesting indicator. Over the past month, many users have started transferring their funds from Ethereum to SWE and Solana. 
The outflow from Ethereum using the wormhole cross-chain protocol amounted to $370 million, $203 million, and $127 million, which is more than 90% were transferred to SWE and Solana, respectively. And this only reinforces my point that Solana is top one, followed by SWE. Even the COO of Wormhole has identified the reason for the transfer of funds to SWE. He believes that this transfer of funds is related to SWE's reward system. And this is exactly what I was talking about when I talked about tokenization. SWE has distributed the tokens very cleverly and is now constantly rewarding holders and ordinary participants in the ecosystem. So I think you have already realized the potential I see for this token in the long run. Therefore, I suggest we finally move on to calculating the possible profit if you buy 1500 SWE right now. First, it is important to clarify that this token is backed by Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay, to be serious, I see quite ambitious indicators for SWE, but we can't consider only the best options because this is a cryptocurrency and anything can happen. So I can't help but look at the downside. If you buy 1500 SWE now, it will cost you $2,370. We are now witnessing a local bull run. BTC is near all-time highs over the past year. And in general, we have a lot of positive news ahead of us, having acceptance of Bitcoin ETFs. Therefore, I see no reason for SWE to fall below current levels by the end of 2024. Therefore, I consider the price bearish at $2.50 for one SWE. This means that in the worst case scenario, we will see a 60 to 65% increase from the current price. And as January alone has shown, even plus 100% in one month is no problem for SWE. But let's get back to math. If you buy SWE now and sell it at 2.5, you will make $1,330 in profit. I agree that this is not much, but I want to remind you that this is the worst case scenario for 2024. And I believe that we will be able to see much higher levels than $2.50. So I suggest you move on to my bullish prediction. I have said many times that SWE is developing quite well and fast. The ecosystem is going up, TVL and volume are also increasing. Therefore, it is obvious to me that SWE will grow in proportion to these indicators. But we still have a lot of interesting news on the market and from the project itself. TVL, SWE has such indicators for a reason, but because of the high probability of a drop for those who have staked the token. Usually, such drops bring a bunch of new users to the blockchain and an equal number of new holders of the token. So this can be one of the factors that sends SWE to $4 to $6 per coin. In this case, your 1500 SWE will bring you almost $9,000. This is a pretty good result. I believe SWE is a very promising token that will definitely hold the top two after Solana. So let's compare their capitalization. If SWE reaches the maximum capitalization of Solana, then we would see 70s from the current moment. To be honest, I don't believe in the possibility of such a scenario, although it would be great. Therefore, I suggest looking at the current market cap. Unfortunately, even 26x doesn't seem possible for SWE this year. Although in the long run of a few years, this could be a very likely scenario. But if we go back to the 2024 timeframe, I see 10 to 15x as quite likely. I would like to note right away that this option seems less realistic to me than the first bearish prediction. However, we may see it in 2024 if more and more positive news comes out and the SWE team does a great job on their project. So, if we see 10x this year, you will get $23,700 by investing only $2,370. And I want to remind you that this video is by no means financial advice. This is just my vision and thoughts on the market. So be sure to do your own research before investing and invest wisely. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the growth of coins. Thanks for watching. Your Coin Post.